Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's ads running right now. Sorry about that, Creighton. I don't run a lot of ads, though. It seems like the Emperor is not really doing jack shit, dude. I don't know what the fuck the Emperor is supposed to be doing in the storyline so far. But that guy is just sitting on his home planet. I don't know what he does. I think he's just eating grapes and jerking off all day. Those are my current working theories. He's doing nothing. That's what it, yeah. Basically your average, that's maybe the real heresy to be honest, man. Maybe the real heresy is that the fucking emperor doesn't do anything. Blessed be his name. You have to add that, I've learned. And right now in the, uh, the story of the Horus Heresy part where I'm at, there's a bunch of guys that are starting to worship the Emperor. They fucking love that dude. Even though they don't really know what's going on, they're turning him, uh, they're turning him into a religious guy. Maybe that's the heresy. I don't know, dude. No, 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 let's not talk about too many of the events of the Horus Heresy. I, uh, I'm only at the beginning of the second book right now. I'm just telling you my current working theories. I don't really want to know. But I have noticed... ...that some of the guys... ...like, for example, Angron... ...are human. But in the models that I've seen of Angron... ...he doesn't look very human at all! He kind of looks like a demon, chat! I've got a feeling there will be a... He gets a little angry, I think. Yeah, he may just get... He may just become a little bit of a angry boy. Okay. 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 The hoofs are not perfect, but maybe I should try a slightly smaller brush. He may have forgotten to get his anger management. Yeah, maybe there's a little bit of an anger management class later on in the Horus Heresy. That could definitely be. Put Angron on the boys. To be fair, if your name is Angron, you kind of just live up to expectations. I'm assuming at that point you just, you know... People just assume that you're an angry boy. So far, there is nothing about orcs. They do talk about green, screen, green skins every once in a while, but that's about it. No real uh, mention of orcs. I think that happens when they go to Draenor, right? In Draenor, there's orcs. Pretty sure that's when that happens. 
when Thrall's, uh, Thrall shows up to lead his people. But I don't really know about the Emperor. I, I don't really know exactly what the Emperor is all about. Seems like he's deliberately very vague. Okay. There's a lot of spiky bits on this guy, man. I like how in the video this guy paints the spiky bits in about half a second that I'm spending ages. Okay. I don't know if the I don't know if the the Warhammer universe suffers from that same issue actually. I have no idea. Where like all the big bats are controlled by other big bats and there's always one bigger bat that is controlling the previous big bat. That's one of the issues that Warcraft has run into ages ago. For they were all deceived. For there was an even bigger bat. Like, wow. The Jailer. Mm. Love that. Good for you, Mr. Jailer, man. No, 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 guys. I'm reading the Horus Heresy so far. You guys keep saying that in Warhammer, everybody's bad. Horus seems like a bit of a chill dude. Not bad at all. He hasn't done anything weird. Sure, a little bit of genocide. But come on. Just a smidgen of it, okay? He just took care of the mega arachnids and stuff and a bunch of other places. Like, we all make mistakes. Honestly, so far though, in the book that I've read, the humans haven't really done anything bad. Like, nothing too crazy anyways. I'm sure it is coming, but... Okay, I think that sums up the black for the time being. I think you may be on a list now, Ramble. There's a good chance you're on a list now, dude. Or in your case, another list. Okay, uh, I'm gonna clean my water real quick. I'll be back in a sec. I made it. I didn't even spill anything. Crazy, right? I think I'll fix up any real mistakes I've made at a later time. Okay. Step. Next. Whatever we call it. Oh, I have to do some dry brushing. We have to do some dry brushing. Just a tiny little bit. And then we'll do step next. Step next is my favorite step. 
Seems like a job for Future Loco. Future Loco can do a lot of things, man. It does feel weird to stream on a Sunday, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I guess it's not too bad if it's a little... Yeah. In a way, like, there's a little bit of splotchiness on these little bony parts. But I don't think it actually looks that bad. Mostly because it's supposed to be little bony parts that are exposed, right? So... I guess it kind of works. Even though I didn't intend on doing it, I think it kind of works. Wouldn't have minded, though. I, like, just painting it a tiny bit tidier, but... I think it's okay. Okay. I think next up, guys, is a section that I am gonna have to spend a load of time on. So we'll make a beginning of it today, or a, a start of it, and then um, we'll probably have to finish it later, at a later time, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it all, because I think it's about time we do all of the carapace. And Leviathan purple, and when yeah. you're done, we're gonna... We'll see. And so with that now done, we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Shayish purple and Leviathan purple, and we're going to use this on all of our purple carapace. Now what I've done is I've actually taken four brush loads of each, so it's technically a four-to-four, -four, but the mix is one-to-one. -one. And we're just going to Math. pick a place to start, and I'm going to start just here on the leg. Now each one of these kind of four-and-four -four mixes should be enough to do... A section. A of different sections, but you won't yeah. get all of it out of one mix. Come on, mate. If you want to not have to do quite as much mixing, you can add a little bit of contrast medium or indeed Lamium medium, should you prefer, to improve the flow, make it It's going to be very dark. It might come out. So there's actually two sections oh, still. Yeah, that I did not quite apply the Gulam and Flesh to yet. We'll have to, we'll have to do that first. There's these little... I don't know. I think these are like his breathing tubes or whatever they're supposed to be. Right underneath his... Neck area? And then there is also that little section on the tail. I think that spike, by the way, also should be black, shouldn't it? Yeah, that spike should also be black. Okay. I kind of want to start with the freaking purple, though. I'm going to do some purple. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to mix these two paints, and then we're going to go from there. Look, have you decided what Legion the Marine will be? Oh, this Marine? I'm going to make him just Marine Blue. Ultramarine blue. That's the one I want to go with. Also because I have the paints. And I kind of like these paints. A marine and marine collars. Exactly. Papa Smurf blue? I mean, I'm open to suggestions. Maybe blue is not good. I've never, I've never painted a... Uh... A unit in another color than blue. 
a marine that is in an outer color of blue. We'll do a two by two, I guess. Stockcraft marine blue. Basically. Okay. Now we mix these two together. It's kind of hard to tell if anything is happening because it's basically one dark ass color. But uh, we'll keep mixing, I guess. How long do we mix for, chat? I don't know. Do we assume at some point it's just mixed properly? I think that's the build. I think that's the strategy. Okay. The sketchiest part here will be the sides, like the edges over here of the carapace. The flat bits are pretty easy, but I don't want to obviously touch the flesh too much if I can at all avoid it. Luckily it's a pretty dark color, I guess. So if I do make a mistake over here. And the drying is a little funky. I should be all right. Okay. That's okay. I'm gonna take it just a little further, but that is a, a little sketchy. That's like the, the weirdest part, I think, about doing this carapace thing. Same for like the, the yeah, there's like a, a bottom section over here too. I think if I smudge it, it's gonna be really obvious. Then again though, I am definitely going to smudge it. So we'll have to figure out a way to fix it. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to apply all the carapace without smudging. Because this is kind of a place that I can see very easily. Where I can get the brush in very easily. But right around the corner is going to be a lot trickier already. That is a very nice color though. Yeah, we'll take it slow. But it does feel a little sketchy, is what I'm saying. But then again, good practice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's me in the corner. Wait, you're in the corner? That's me in the spot. Light. I haven't listened to that song in a very long time. Losing my religion. Okay. There we go. I 
at least any smudges I've put over on this uh, carapace is going to be covered really nicely with this dark ass color. It's so funny because in the video the guy makes it look so straightforward, you know? Turns out guys that make videos about things and do it for a long time are usually quite good at it. I've touched a little fleshy bit over there again, but I guess I already had to fix that. Okay. There's the first little bit of the carapace. Pretty much done. Try and get rid of some of the brush strokes. Okay. <sighs> I've wondered through other streams, the ones with thousands of viewers, it's impossible to read the chat. Yeah. So when I stream in this category, the stream numbers are usually a little lower than when I, for example, stream RTS games, but I do think there's fun in a large stream, but there's definitely, if you want to have more of a chat experience, I think like below a thousand viewers is kind of sweet. I do a lot of chat interaction in general. I even respond to like, for example, Echo Steel's messages. I know. Okay. Even those. Sometimes, sometimes. When can we ban Echo Steel? I know. We should, eh? Just get him out of here. You have the best messages, though? Mm. Every single one of your messages should be written in a book. That's how good they are. Okay. Am I keeping it in the frame, by the way, guys? Am I, like, moving my stuff out of the frame a lot? I hope not. Taking it one little scale at a time. Okay, okay, thank you. Audio still okay, too, by the way? There should not be a lot of echo today. Because I hung up my laundry. Laundry OP. There's laundry right behind me. Right over there. What's going on, Jaded? Hello. What's going on, Jojo? Hello. What is side quest? Side quest is my management, basically the people that do all of the sponsored content or they organize all the sponsored content, they answer my email, that sort of thing. Which saves me a boatload of time. They're actually great. I used to do everything myself, and I still do a lot of stuff for myself, but... Um, basically, all the things that take away from making content... ...is something they can pick up. No! Okay, I fucked up. 
only a little bit. I thought the fuck up was gonna be bigger than this. Look, I love Warhammer. Nice to see a fellow StarCraft play it too. I don't actually play the game, I'm afraid, but I like painting. From what I've got it, it's not that weird, apparently. To paint but not play. Okay. I really like painting, yeah, it's fun. It's like, it's like learning a new skill for me so far, you know? But I've been happy with the, uh, pretty happy with the results. Dude, they have so many cool models, Utgard. It is not difficult to find a cool model that you like. And they seem to release new ones constantly. In a couple months that I've been following along with it, maybe I just caught it at a strange time or whatever, but they seem to be releasing new shit very frequently. There's a huge backlog of models that are pretty sick. So I've said this a couple times before already, but basically I've always liked painting. But the problem with a lot of the conventional painting, I guess, is that it kind of... It always feels like you have to, like, dedicate a lot of time to it and a lot of space to it and stuff. And with mini painting so far, I've been able to paint for like an hour and then put it away, just wash my brushes, and it doesn't smell. It's like pretty... It's pretty easy to just pick up a brush, do a bit of painting, and then stop. And I haven't really done any painting, like conventional or otherwise, for many years. And it's been fun to pick it back up again, you know? But in a different form than what I used to. Uh, so this mini was actually sent to me by Dialan, who is a stream viewer. He was in chat here earlier. And he asked if he could send me a couple of things. He lives pretty close by, apparently. He's from the Netherlands, too. And, um... Turns out he's a professional mini artist. It's kind of sick. One of the cool things about streaming, I guess, is that you guys have a lot of... different professions, usually. And, uh... Yeah. So he actually made this base. Normally it just comes on a standard round base, like the one from the video I've been following along with. This one is uh, very different. It's gonna be a while before I get to paint that part though. I think that's the second bit of carapace done. The first one is already dried up. It is definitely, it's got some dark parts and some lighter parts there. I don't know if we love that, but there is gonna be some, um, some highlighting on every single one of those scales later on. So basically the way it's done in the video, and that is actually a little scary to me. Um, at some point, and I do want to give this a try. At some point, he starts putting little lines if you're unsure. on every single bit of the, the paint or every single one of the purple. So you end up with like these highlight lines everywhere, which looks amazing. But also it seems kind of difficult to do. 
So we're gonna just keep going with it. I'm gonna trust the process. But um, it is definitely gonna make me pretty uncomfortable, I think. But hey, gotta do things sometimes that you're uncomfortable with. <sighs> so, next leg. I'm gonna be live, by the way, for another 20 minutes, I think, today. Yeah, there may be a bit of dry brushing involved, too. But he basically goes over every single armor panel, and he puts little vertical lines on it, depending on the direction of the armor. Which basically is a little bit of freehanding, I guess, and I haven't really done any of that. So that'll be something new. No! I fucked it up. The side of my brush touched the side of the thing. Yeah, I'll have to go around the model at a later time and just try to fix up all of those little issues. I don't know what the easiest way of fixing that is, though. Because this is such a dark paint. I think I essentially have to relayer it. It's not an easy thing to just relayer, though. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Maybe I should throw it in a bin? Mm. That seems a little extreme, but... Fuck me, I did it again! <laughs> no! <laughs> right in the middle of the fucking thing, too! I don't think I can really, uh... You reckon I can kind of wipe it off a little bit? With another brush? This could be a bad idea. Sort of. Ah, I did get some of the intensity out of it. I need to use masking tape? No, 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 no. I just need to learn brush control, dude. That's what I really need to do. I think ultimately that's what you, what's going to save me, but... I have uh, the brush control of a Silver League player, you know? Yeah, a masking tape would fix it too, but... I just want to learn how to properly do this. I have masking tape, actually. Like, just a regular painter's tape, I guess, right? I have some of that. Soon we will be diamond. Exactly. This is a hurdle we'll have to overcome. By getting good. I am taking a very gamer or StarCrafty mindset to painting, I've noticed. <laughs> Don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I'm practicing my macro game at the moment. You're going to ask for a Discord invite? Oh, it's discord.gg slash locotv. You should definitely join, dude. A lot of awesome people hanging out there. I made a uh, group chat specifically for miniature painting, actually. So if you want to share your work or you want me to make fun of you. No, I really love our little Discord community. Perfect, yeah, you want me to make fun of you? Sick, sick, sick. Maybe that's not what you said perfect too. Doesn't matter. Okay.
Uh-huh. Cool. What's going on, Tim? I've started recently, man. It's been only about two months since I've begun painting. Minis. But it's been, um, it's been fun. It feels nice to be a bit creative, though. Other than make videos, I guess, which is a pretty creative process usually, but it's like a different type of creative, I guess. Some of these angles are going to be pretty much ridiculous to hit. I'm going to try and just kind of get underneath that edge, but... Same for this little part of the carapace. Maybe I can do it like this. Problem is I'm gonna smudge it. I've already smudged it a little bit. Jeez, dude. How am I gonna touch that little part? I don't even see where my fucking brush is going. <laughs> I need to disconnect my eyeballs. Can I be like a chameleon or something and move my eyeballs individually? That'd be sick. Sometimes it kind of feels like I'm playing snooker, you know? Like I'm kind of putting my fucking brush on the edge over here. I'm like, choo! Don't play snooker with your brush, Chad, is all I can tell you so far, but it doesn't seem like I have another option. Uh, I'm following along with a uh, video tutorial. Tim? Yeah. Oh, I, I got some on the armor. That's okay. That armor is not going to be painted for a long while. I think I'm going to use the smaller brush here. Snooker! Yeah, I know what you're thinking, dude. Snooker. I just met her. No, no, Chad. Come on. If you're painting a model and your hands are kind of shaky... Oh, I actually don't really have any issues with shaky hands usually. It's just the angle. But I am trying to, like, anchor my, my hands and stuff. Yeah. It's just trying to find the right angle. This is the angle. With a smaller brush. Sometimes it's kind of tricky to find an angle where you can both see and then also paint. I think I was about as good as I was going to be. Yeah, we got to find the perfect tickling angle. Precisely, dude. I did get a little bit of it smudged on the leg, though, but we've already determined I was going to fix that. I don't know if you guys can see it right over there. It's kind of difficult, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, all good, all good. Thank you for the help. Okay, that could have been bad, but we're okay. How do you think I should fix this though? Because I, I did the base layer below this with contrast paints, right? So some of the areas underneath these carapacey bits, all of those areas actually are painted with contrast paints. And the problem with fixing mistakes is that I can't just use acrylics on top of it very easily because the color is going to be slightly different. I guess I'll just have to reapply Wraithbone and try to like blend in a little bit. I think that's what I'll do. We'll reapply Wraithbone and then go back in with the original color and use the little dabbing 
fettering technique thing that we've been using on, for example, the arms. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, this is a sweet shade of purple. It's a very deep purple. It's kind of sick. Like smoke on the water, you know? Dum, bum, bow, bow. No, sorry. That was a boomer joke. I apologize. I'm going for 50 shades of purple, yeah. We're mixing and matching a lot of different purples, it's fun. It's a great color, man. Angry crap is gonna be quite colorful, yeah. Wait, this is a crap? He's a tyrannid, bro. Show some respect. Can't believe this. Okay, I need a little bit more paint. Crabs are pretty cool too, I guess. We don't eat much. Just doing like half a brush load. I just want to fill this little bit of parapace in. And then the other one. And then we'll continue onwards with it tomorrow or so. I think tomorrow I'm going to do some generals to start. Because I do want to play some generals too, man. It feels funny to be streaming on a Sunday. Feels really wrong. Does this mean I go straight to hell? I'm working on a Sunday chat. Is this stream going to be brought up on Judgment Day? If so, I think it was worth it. Yo! Thank you very much. My first Sunday morning stream ever. Glad it was this one. Vibes are immaculate. Vibes Let's are go, immaculate. dude. Chat is amazing in the man yeah, we have an himself awesome is community cooking here, on the painting. Well done all around. Glad you enjoy. Chet is amazing and the man himself is cooking on the painting. <laughs> Thank you very much as well, Timmy. Gifting a community sub to Ariti. Did you just give somebody else a sub before you gave yourself one? That is commitment. You have turbo? Ah, ah, all right, all right, all right. You have turbo, I see. Yeah, so subs to the channel never see ads, but I guess if you have turbo, you don't see ads anywhere on Twitch, right? Yeah. Twitch is really busy advertising Turbo a lot. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, generally speaking, I've noticed whenever Twitch tries something really hard, it's not in the benefit of the streamer. But probably for their own. <laughs> Turbo basically is like a monthly subscription service on Twitch that you pay directly to Twitch. So not to a streamer, but to Twitch itself. And then you basically don't get any ads on the platform anywhere. Kind of like uh, YouTube Premium, you know? Like Pornhub Premium, you know what I mean? Actually, I don't know if they have that. 
But um, as a streamer, you get like um, you still get like a little bit of money, I think, for people that do have turbo. But the thing is, it's not even remotely the same as people subscribing to your stream, obviously. So it's a little, uh, it's a little funky. But yeah, I get it. If you switch to a lot of different channels, obviously, it's much cheaper to uh, pay for Turbo than it would be to subscribe on every channel. And I guess a lot of channels also don't have that turned on. So I have it turned on that if you're a sub, you never see ads. But I know some channels don't. So, you know, you can subscribe to those streamers and you still get ads. <laughs> uh. So, like, one of my selling points for subbing is that you won't see ads, even though those are forced on me by Twitch. And then Twitch, like, I don't want to run ads if I don't have to, right? But Twitch forces me to run ads. Be it pre-roll or be it mid-roll. And then Twitch at the same time is selling a solution to a problem they've created. <laughs> like, it's kind of... That's kind of what it feels like. So, like, Turbo is cool at all, but, like, if... You didn't need turbo in the past because, you know. Anyways. <sighs> Good old Twitch. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They created problems and then fixed them. I think that'll be it for me for today. Got a nice section done. I'm considering if I should maybe do the middle part here too. I think I will. Yeah. I'm gonna use the smaller brush for that. Like the... The carapace for his ball sack, you know? For a little bit, when they first introduced Turbo, it was actually freely available for partners. Which I thought was kind of a nice gesture. But then they made it so that you only have it if you're streaming as a partner. So when I'm streaming as a partner and I'm logged into my Twitch account, I don't see any ads on the website. However, as soon as I go offline, I see ads again everywhere because I don't pay for... Like, they actually had a meeting for it, you know? And they were like, no, 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 no. Let's take that away from the couple hundred people that make our fucking website exist. <laughs> it's like, bro, what the fuck, man? It's so stupid, right? Like, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I don't really care that much. But it's like, the fact that they took it away is kind of funny to me. Like, they actually decided, no, 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 no. Twitch's business decisions are uh, almost as questionable sometimes as games workshops. <laughs> yeah, Twitch is not profitable. But the thing is, you know, the couple hundred partners or couple thousand partners, if that is what you, like, if they all... Them all paying Turbo is is gonna fucking tip the scales? Like, what, this is an insane concept. But it's okay. It's alright. I love Twitch, but they do make some weird decisions sometimes. And many of them are just not very partner friendly, you know? Like, I guess my, my problem with some of those things is that they kind of act like they have a monopoly. And that nobody is as good as them. Which I guess is true in some ways. But... 
I don't think it's the case as much as I think they have a monopoly. What's going on, Kuniko? Hello. Dude, I could definitely paint my girlfriend's nails now. I would. I don't know if I could do a good job, though, because I've never done that. What's the difference between nail polish and nail paint? Is it nail pol- is it- wait, what? Is that a difference? First time I hear of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's nail polish. But don't you paint nail polish? Or do you use the verb polishing when you use... No, I don't know. The main competitor to to Twitch is definitely YouTube. YouTube streaming is already 10 times bigger, man. Not even 10 times, it's much bigger. Hey, thank you, Argyle. I'm actually just about to head off, man, but thank you for the rate. Hope you had a good stream. Gotta tickle in between his legs for a little bit. Try to not smudge too much. <laughs> 